Welcome back with the Africa Twin. Today we're gonna do an oil and oil filter change, but enough with the chit chat, let's get on it. Before getting on with the oil change, there are two steps that you wanna do ahead of time. First of all, remove the skid plate. Second, get the bike out for a ride in this specific order, because when you come back with a hot engine, you want the least amount of parts to remove before draining the oil itself. The reason why we're going for a ride rather than just let the engine idle for 10 minutes or so is because we want the maximum motion inside the engine. We're maximizing the amount of sludge and debris that will come out when we drain the oil. But let's remove the skid plate and it's only three screws. <laughs> That's what happened when you off-road <laughs> with the Africa Twin springtime. One in the back. <clears throat> and then down and out. Needless to say, not the time to go hardcore off-roading right now to warm up the bike. You don't have a skid plate. Be sensible. Stay on the road and go around. It's time to drain the oil. Before you drain it, remove the filler plug, remove the dipstick over here. And then there are two, not just one, but two drain plugs. One over here and one up front. Obviously, before you remove the filler plug, <laughs> um, make sure you clean around it. As you guys have seen, oil will come out from both drain plugs and the oil filter. Now allow a few minutes for everything to drain out and, uh, and then put stuff back together. We're gonna start with a fresh oil filter. Clean everything up. Get a little bit of fresh oil around the seal and then back on the bike. When it comes to the oil filter, the rule of thumb is hand tie it as much as you can. There is a specific torque, which for my patrons is on the Patreon page, but uh, in 30 years of uh, changing oil filter on motorcycles, I never had a problem by hand tying it as much as possible. When it comes to the two drain plugs, they need to be torqued to specs. So let's put it back on and torque them to specs. To be clear, the manual says to replace the crash washers on both drain plugs and inspect the O-ring on the filler cap and replace it if needed. Obviously, it's not needed on the filler cap. When it comes to the crash washers, the bike has 8,000 miles. The oil has been changed once when it was required to. So the crash washers are still fine. And as long as you keep torquing it to proper specs, the crash washer will be fine. Obviously, every time you do it, check the crash washer and make sure that it's still serviceable like mine today and then put it back on. On the right commands to use the GN4 1030 to put in there. Now, when it comes to the brand of oil, you can choose whatever you like. When it comes to the weight and the viscosity of the oil, well, uh, if you're familiar with uh, the climate in your region and you know which oil works best, Go with that, otherwise for everybody else, the Honda recommended oil covers a wide variety of climates. So I'm gonna use this. If you replace oil and filter, then you're gonna need about four liters. If you just drain the oil, then you need 3.9 liters, which is still just a little bit more than this jug, which is 3.78. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour all of these in and then once I get the bike off the stand, I'm gonna run it a little bit and check the proper level. It's time to put the skid plate back on the bike. Easy peasy, three bolts and you're done. The important thing is on the back of the skid plate back here, there is this rubber grommet that goes in there. So what you do is you slide it in, then lift the skid plate up and the first bolt goes here on the side. Do not forget this little collar over here that goes inside the rubber grommet. So in there, put that in and start tying. Let's put the, the two front but, uh, buttons. Let's put the two front bolts and then we'll tie everything. Now I'm gonna go find the torque specs and torque it properly and that's about it. Another simple but very important job is done to assure that your engine stays in tip-top shape. In theory, uh, Honda says you don't need to replace the filter uh, until 12 or 16,000 miles, I can't quite remember, but it's $15 for a filter. Um, whenever you change the oil, might as well change the filter as well. I don't know, they have it written that way. I'm not an engineer, they know better, but still, I'm gonna do it anyway. For everything I used in this video, check the description down below. There's gonna be links for all the supplies I used. Thank you very much to my patrons. We just grown by one, so welcome to the inner circle. Other than that, for all of you out there, dai tutti, and I'll see you next time. <music>